Cowabunga and Begora, Batman. It, here's the funky 60s psychedelic Batman in his swim short. Sorry, I'll, I'll just stop that. Right, okay. So only the 1960s could surely get away with putting Batman in swim shorts. Imagine that. Cowabunga Begora indeed. Um, yeah, so it, I have an iconic look for Batman. Um, the 1960s is, is a lot of wacky... Crazy, psychedelic, hippie, tripped out, groovy concepts. But this um, Batman was from the season three, episode ten uh, episode, which was Surfs Up, Joker's Down. Was it Joker's Out? Surfs Up, Joker's Down. Surfs Up, Joker's Under. That's it. Surfs Up, Joker's Under. Um, it's some McFarlane toys, so we can see on the back there in his swim shorts. Um, you can also get the Bat Cave, which looks fantastic. And um, Batmobile is designed by Dizinado Par Consu Par George Barris, apparently. In the UK, it's actually been distributed by Bandai, which is uh, kind of unusual, I think. It's a Japanese company. Um, yeah, so it looks like he's got a cloth goods cape. They've posed it as if it's flapping in the breeze, almost like he was on the surfboard. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't come with a surfboard. And it also doesn't come with the bat shark repellent. People always think the bat shark repellent was just in the movie, which it was. But it was also in this episode, Surf's Up, Joker's Under. Surf's Up, Joker's Under. Um, so it's a shame they haven't put the bat shark repellent in with him. But you've obviously got these punchy, uh, the old comic book, um, camp crazy kapow. Oh, yes, it has got a cloth goods cape. That's good. I personally quite like cloth goods cape. I know, I know, maybe don't have as so much. They don't always look as cool as the. Uh, there's a moulded one, but I think they sort of have a weight and a reality to them, um, somehow. Um, the design on Batman's... I always think they could have made, like, had the actual shorts, could have been, like, um, you know, bat symbols on, you know. Why, why, why it's, like, just sort of generic tropical design, I don't know. So, the uh, likeness of Adam West, is it reasonable? Judge for yourself, I'm not so sure. Uh, I'll just turn the music off there, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, the, the colour there is right. The, actually, you almost thought that might have been fabric, the uh, grey. It's, uh, it's got a weird feel to it, almost as if it's been 3D printed. It's got like a bit of a grain to it. Um, so what have we got? He bends at the knees, bends at the way, waist, oh, it's, uh, he, t he does turn at the waist as well, elbows, his right hand's a bit weird. I don't know what's happened with his fingers, whether I've got a dodgy, can you see that? Whether I've got a dodgy, uh, it's coming like, a, he's, he's like that. <laughs> he's, he's like he's doing the thumb, a thumb trick. Um, it looks like he could hold something. Is that for the, the pow and kapow? But the, the, the kapow on the thing clips on, doesn't it? I presume it's supposed to clip onto his, uh, you know, if he punches somebody, punches the Joker, it'd be like that. Yeah, like that. So it looks like he's supposed to be at hold something, but there doesn't appear to be any accessories. The bat shark repellent could have gone in there. Um, I like the shininess of the, the cape. I think it looks quite accurate to the TV series, but it doesn't really hang very well on his shoulders. Um... Yeah, that's not great. That doesn't really hang that well. I mean, he should have come with a surfboard as well, isn't it? It's a bit cheap of them not to have his surfboard. 
But what was the episode Surf's Up Joker's Under all about? Well, while surfing champion Skip Parker was sidelined by a telephone call, his friend Barbara Gordon, who's celebrating her birthday, awaits his return on the beach. Meanwhile, in a back room where Skip will take his phone call, a young lady beach hand is waxing up a surfboard. The Joker plans to kidnap Skip. He has his henchmen put the girl in a sack down to her waist. She puts up a struggle as Joker's maul Undine sprays underneath the sack with Joker's sleep gas. Knocking her out, Undine takes a liking to the girl's black ballet flats. She pulls them from the girl's stocking feet and takes them for her own. They drag the sleeping girl in the sack by her pantyhose feet from the room. Upon Skip picking up the receiver, he is quickly gassed by a hidden device and kidnapped by the Joker and his men Riptide and Wipeout. That's good surfing names there. Uh, and Maul Undine, or Undine. Barbara bears witness to Skip being carried into the Joker mobile and calls her father in hopes that he will in turn alert Batman. Meanwhile, Joker, hoping to become a surfing champion himself, for some unknown reason, has transferred all of Skip's knowledge and ability to his own brain with a surfing experience and ability transferometer and Vigor reverser. Vigor reverser. Batman and Robin easily divine the location of Joker's secret uh, headquarters at the Tento surfboard shop, but they are captured there by the waiting Joker, Riptide and Wipeout, who paralyze them with handfuls of poisonous sea urchin spines. While the Joker and Undyne part, depart for Gotham Point on the surfing championship, Riptide and Wipeout turn the Cape Crusader and the Boy Wonder into human surfboards. Employing the use of a portable ultraviolet bat ray, the dynamic duo burst free from their foam coffins and rescue Skip, who's locked up in a nearby bench, as Riptide and Wipeout make a break for it. Realising the only way to collar the Clown Prince of Crime is to challenge and defeat him in the surfing contest, Batman orders Robin to return to Wayne Manor, switch to Dick Grace and retrieve the surfboard and come back to the beach. Batman heads for Gotham Point Beach and discovers Joker, employing the use of his newly acquired surfing prowess to frighten off all the other contestants. So the Cape Crusader grabs his surfboard, dons his swimming trunks and heads out into the water to combat, to compete against the Joker and handily hang ten. The Joker is beaten as he only got one point for being the more colourful surfer when Batman got all the rest. He's then confronted by Skip Parker and knowing he's been found out, especially when they find where they hid Hot Dog Harrigan, he retreats with Undine Riptide and hide out to local surfing hangout at the Hang 5 where the Cape Crusade rests Batgirl joins the dynamic duo as they rout the homicidal Harlequin and his henchies. <laughs> now, <clears throat> as a British person, I'm particularly excited about the um, next episode, which in, is in London. Lord Marmaduke Fogg and his sister, Lady Penelope Peasoup, use a man-made fog to pull off a robbery. They're stealing the uh, the Queen's priceless snuff boxes. So the next episode, he's, he's off to London. Perhaps he'll use his surfboard to, uh, um, you know, cross the Atlantic. But yeah, the, it's... It, the the possibility is pretty good. Um, it's got bald biceps, um, joints in his shoulders. Um, I don't really think it looks much like Adam West. That portion of his face, anyway. But but it's you know it's sweltering hot at the moment here in the UK. So having a a summery figure like this is just what's needed. Um, I suppose you'd re. I need to get the joke, the surfing Joker as well. That'd be good, and he can smack him one. How how the Joker thought he was going to take the, over the world by becoming the world surfing champion? I'm not entirely sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, imagine um, you know, the Batman doing that, eh? Getting uh, our Pat's Robert Pattinson having to. Get on a surfboard, put on yellow Hawaiian Hawaiian trunks, and uh, <clears throat> try and fight the uh, the uh, serial killing Riddler. Wouldn't really work, would it? They wouldn't have you. They wouldn't make something like this these days, would they? It just wouldn't happen. It, it requires the, uh, the the 60s, but it's great how the Adam West Batman is still fondly remembered. <laughs> And this is just uh, an example of how something so absurd is so fondly remembered. Because that's, you know, 
Batman is quite a dark character, but at the same time, he's been reinvented over the years to suit the cultural norms of the time, the cultural the zeitgeist. And, uh, you know, they didn't want a dark Batman in the 60s, did they? Fortunately, because the world is not very depressing, we, we, we like to have depressing Batman. We don't need a, something fun and it's to escape from real. Oh, hang on. Actually, the world is quite depressing, but we like our Batman depressing at the same time. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, tune in next time, same bat time, same, well, not same bat time, but anyway, tune in next time on the same bat channel. Don't have nightmares, do sleep well.